How are we doing? Nine definites and a dozen maybes to follow up next week. Well, look, came through the door, that's what counts. I don't know. Most of them seem more interested in the freebies than they did in the club. Oh, yeah? I thought you'd forgotten. Yeah, as if. How's it going? Good turnout for a weekday. I think a lot of them will come back. Well, that's a start then, isn't it? So who did the layout in there? I did. You know you could have done with a few more monitors. People like a bit of entertainment when they're working out. Yeah, well, I guess that's down to me, isn't it? Being the manager. He's managed the fit for years. It's not so different. Yeah, well, I hope you keep your eye on him. Don't worry. It's all under control. Right. OK. How about a little something to quench my thirst now? Come up to the office. I've got a lot of decent stuff in the fridge. Come on. That's it. What do you think? Yeah, it's all right. But you're going to have to push some very competitive rates to get started. Yeah, we're doing that. You checked out the other clubs in the area? See what's on offer? Yeah, of course. Because you want to make sure you're ahead of them in terms of deals. She told you we've just done that. What about special rates? You know, uh, life memberships, five-year deals, stuff like that. We considered those, but when we did our research, people weren't that keen. Why not? Because people around here haven't got that kind of money to throw around, that's why not. What about those yuppie flats down on Poplar Way? I mean, that's in your catchment area, isn't it? You know your trouble? Is you think Albert Square is the centre of the universe. Now, you listen to me. Me and Annie have put a lot of work into this place, and I don't appreciate you sticking your nose in. Is that right? Why don't you pop down the Vic, Steve? I'll meet you there when we finish. It won't take long. Yeah. I'll see you later. Well, he didn't tell me he'd taken them on. Do you want me to manage this place or not? That's what I said, wasn't it? Hey, you've been doing a bit of recruiting. Really? I are the staff around here. Yeah, well, you know me. Hands-on approach. Yeah, well, hands-off. Maybe I just want to make sure that from now on we get the right people. What is your problem? I put a lot of money into this place. You just remember who's working for who. You listen. No, you listen to me. For goodness sake, both of you, shut up. Can you see a ping-pong table anywhere? No, me neither. So if we're not running a youth club, maybe the pair of you could stop behaving like 12-year-olds. I just want it sorted. I wouldn't have given you the job if I didn't think you could do it. Just back off. All right. Busy in here for Monday, isn't it? That's what happens when you book a cabaret act, mate. Jeez. I'm oh, sorry, where are you working now? Just remind me. I'm just sit out for a bit. In that case, I'll have a scotch. Let's? Right? No, nah, no. Nah, nah. Yeah, we're all right for a bit, thanks. Is there something that you wanted? Yeah, the roll of towel in the men's room's knackered. Want to sort it out for me? I'll get on to a man that can. Well, can't you do it? Yeah, well, it's not my job, is it? Grant, you call out the man that can. You're talking time, money, and inconvenience to the punters. All right, I'll do it. You know it makes sense. Somebody's pulled it clean off the wall. I wonder who that could be, eh? I tell you, some of the clientele we're getting here. Well, I'll have to order a new one. Good. Mate, you worried about the cost? Can't be avoided, can it? Thanks. And if you need any more information, don't hesitate to call me. Uh, my name's Grant Mitchell, and I'm the manager. Thanks a lot. Can I help you? Grant, this is Miss Wilcox. Now, she's a very good friend of mine, so I want you to show around the facilities. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm a bit busy at the moment, and wouldn't she rather be shown around by you? <laughs> Excuse me a minute. Ali's asked me to process his applications in time for the last post. What are they, local applications? Most of them, yeah. So they deliver them by hand? It's Tuesday night, I knock off early. Grant, well, surely I don't have to let you on PR. Now, a punter in the hand is worth time on the phone. Then Miss Wilcox demands personal attention, and you're gonna give it to her. <laughs> Miss Wilcox, Grant Mitchell. Hello, Mum, you come and do a session? No, thank you. 
Now, what's this I hear about Courtney yesterday? Jungle John's been beaten, have they? Well, if you're having trouble, I just want to know about it. It's just a little hiccup, us. Well, I'm here for you and Courtney. We can sort anything out. You just got to let us know. Anyway, I'll take her for tonight if you like. Give you a bit of a rest. Thanks, Mum. Good morning, Roy. Morning, Peg. Bit early for lunch break, isn't it? Who said anything about lunch? Yeah, well, I don't think family discussions belong in the workplace. <laughs> Might put the customers off. Roy, change rooms are upstairs, mate. Thanks. Bothering you again, have my honest one for some time. Out! What are you doing? Just caught this one perving the lady's changing room. Oh, now you made a mistake, I'm telling you. Now let him go. I'm so sorry about this council, I can't apologise enough. Um, listen, he's, uh, he's ex forces, you know, he gets a bit carried away sometimes. Mm. Grant, I noticed that the toilets need a once over. Would you mind? After you. Thank you. Let me buy you a coffee. Phil, can I help you? Yeah, I just wanted a quick word with my brother, if that's OK. He's, uh, he's a bit busy, I'm afraid. Well, it's quite important. I can give him a message for you. No. No, don't bother. Hope you did the U-Bint. Oh, and uh, Councillor Norma's coming back in this evening. When he does, I want you to apologise, all right? What for? He says you hurt his arm. I told you. No, no. They're coming here to get healthy, not to get their arms broken. See us again soon, won't you? And like I said, I'm really sorry about our resident vigilante. That's not a problem. Right. Okay. Where's for your game? You made me work for my lunch break. You don't knock off until I tell you. No, you're going to stop me. Oh, and I reckon that uh, Mum be telling everybody how you encourage perverts down here. And he's going to love that kind of publicity, isn't she? Right. Don't be late tomorrow, will you? I want to uh, bring some overalls with you. We're having trouble with the sewage overflow. No, no. It's coming out of your mouth. <sighs> they ain't going to know what's sitting when we get started. I'm going to start with Ian Beale. We can share the DeMarcos and anyone else who gets in our way. You know, the worst thing about the day wasn't being nicked by the old Bill. Huh? And it wasn't being sung to by a drag queen. It was having to clean toilets for someone like Steve Owen. So he's first, is he? No, it shouldn't take me too long to dig something up on him. He's gonna get a touch at a Mitchell treatment. You're late. I oh, know. Well, as soon as we're not busy, I'll overlook it. Overlook what? It's all right, Steve. I'm dealing with it. No, I don't think you are. Right, you're over an hour late. Now, I'm giving you a verbal warning. Steve! No, I'm trying to run a professional outfit here for grown-ups. don't need you acting like some stroppy teenager. Grant, go and put the towels in the shower area. Have you finished? For the moment. Would you mind leaving staff discipline to me? I would if I thought you were capable of it. Now, wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. I've put a lot of time and money into this place. I want to make it a success. Now, the first step towards disaster is having someone with his kind of background working here. I hired him, and I'll decide whether he gets fired or not. Annie, last week he threw out one of my clients. Then he goes and roughs up the social worker. The guy is unstable. I won't be told what to do by you or anyone else. Oh, could I just interrupt the board meeting for a minute? No. What is he got? Uh, keys to the store room. Thanks. Carry on. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. Sorry, did you say something? Are you drinking? No. What'd you call this thing? 
Well, I called it an empty beer can. So you have been drinking, right? Exactly. I have been drinking. Your question was, are you drinking? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a picture, Grant. You get your stuff, mate, all right? What's going on? I'm just in the middle of telling Grant I'm going to have to let him go. Only you don't have to. Because I quit. You can stick your poxy job where it hurts. See you, Annie. Have a safe flight. Mm -hmm. I'll see you when you get back. Yeah, thanks. Are you coming a bit fine? What's he doing here? There's nothing left for me around here anymore. I'm going to stay out in New Zealand. So what is, what's that got to do with him? You said you didn't want our relationship to interfere with the business. It won't. Meet your new partner in the health club, Grant Mitchell. Good luck. I think you'll need it. He's road, please. Yourself. What's this? You come in through the back door, did you? Doesn't matter. I've got a proposition for you. Take it or leave it. Go on. Whichever way this goes through is going to be expensive. I can buy half your club, run it while you're inside, and keep half the profits somewhere safe until you get out. You want to go into business with me? That's what I said. So it doesn't bother you that I'm on remand for murder and you're meant to I be... ain't a copper anymore. Look, your club's just sitting there getting done over. You should see it from the outside. It's even worse. I got this today. It's a message from Grant Mitchell. You come in with me, get some off your back for free. No accident. We don't know that. You heard what Jamie said. The locks were broke. Someone got in there. Was it Miller and Freya then? We dealt with him. Well, who else could it be? I mean, who else have you upset lately? Well, huh? this is the result of your little accident, is it? That's right. Well, let's make sure we claim it on your insurance, eh? A word? Yeah, well, I'm busy. Yeah, well, that's too bad. You and me, we've got some unfinished business. Oh, yeah, so we have. 